button. We are going to be back on the Cobra today because we've got a little bit of a pause on the 32 Ford. Let me show you what we've actually got done on the 32. I think you'll kind of find it kind of funny. First of all, I'd like to welcome Clifford, my shop dog, and there's Luna, shop dog, and here comes Opie, shop dog. We're at a point on the 32 where we're at a standstill simply because of a small mishap that happened yesterday. I got in the relay for the fuel pump on these. The, uh, since it's running an EFI fuel pump, even though I'm running a carburetor, you do have to have it on a relay. So I've been back here hooking up the relay and everything, and yesterday when I got ready to test things, I uh, dropped a wrench on the battery, shorted it out, not shorted the battery out, rather, but made a big spark, and it blew the main bus fuse. So that bus fuse is down there, and I've got so I've got to replace that. So we're on hold on this right now. Uh, I do have a few more things to take care of before we can actually get ready to start this thing. I've got all the fluids for it. Oil's in the block. I've started adding transmission fluid. I do have the uh, antifreeze for the cooling system. I'm going to have to run a vacuum line for the uh, modulator valve on the back of the C4 transmission and also run the PVC uh, valve and I've got some hoses I've got to pick up so that will be coming soon. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be attacking the Cobra again. What I've been doing today is I've been laying out where the uh, seat uh, mounts go. The um, well, a few moments later. But anyway, the thing, the uh, the seat mounts for the adjustment, and uh, of course the uh, passenger seat is static. Those are positioned, so I'm going to pull that back out, and I'm going to start putting in this right here. I'm using Cool Mat to line the interior cockpit to reduce heat and noise. So let's get busy. Let's get to work.
We are at a stopping point, and the reason for that is, is I have run out of material. Uh, I do have some more of the uh, original stuff that I uh, coated the floor in on the F100 many, many moons ago, but it is in this shop somewhere, and I've got to locate it. But I am at a stopping point for now, but let's see what we've got. It almost did all of it, not quite all, and I have basically used everything that I've got with the exception of one small scrap, which I will use here in a moment. Uh, these are the really difficult areas here. I'm piecing those together as we go, but so far it looks really good. Uh, I can already feel it not have the heat rising off the floor like it was before. Um, the area right there, the ones without the logo on it, I've got some more of those in a box around here somewhere. So as soon as I can locate that, I'm going to finish everything. But let's take a look on the other side here. Transmission tunnel is mostly covered. Floor is mostly covered. I've just got some bare bones ideas to uh, cover that right there. Uh, little areas like that and then of course once I'm done with this covering I'm going to go over all of the seams with aluminum tape to seal it up real nice and neat. Uh, so as soon as I can locate those other squares we will go ahead and get finished with this. The dogs have been excellent company. This guy right here every time I lay on the floor to uh, do something he decides he wants to uh, lick me in the face and wonder what I'm up to but uh, he's a puppy so I gotta let him go. Um, as far as this goes, I've also already got my holes cut in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. The holes cut for the uh, tub mounting and for the seat mounting. Uh, so all that's done. I've got my wiring here. It's ready to get routed finally and uh, put down permanently so it doesn't move around. Now as far as what is next on the Cobra, I'm going to be spending tomorrow, which is a Sunday, scavenging through this shop to see if I can locate uh, the additional um, insulation material that I've got and then I can finish it up and of course I'll post a short on that once that's done. Uh, I also am awaiting a new fuse for the 32 to uh, fix my little boo-boo. That's why we have inline fuses. It's a 150 amp, 56 or 58 volt uh, MIDI fuse, M-I-D-I, -I, MIDI fuse. Uh, and um, a couple of parts stores around here had them in that value, but they didn't have them in the right voltage. So I'm going to go with what the uh, wiring harness came with. I'm very picky about wiring uh, to go back with exactly what is designed for, so we don't have to uh, worry about any incompatibilities or anything like that. But then once uh, I get these squares put down and get underneath the uh, firewall done, which I will show you, this area right down in here, which is critical because it catches heat off the engine, I've already got it done underneath the dash and everything. Uh, it's got uh, insulation on the other side. So I'm just going to do the footwell, run around these edges, finish up back here, and get all of that stuff done as well. And again, like I said, all the seams will get gone over with aluminum tape once that's done. So I'm going to call it a video at this point. Be sure and hit like and subscribe. We've got more stuff coming up very, very soon. Stay cool out there. And uh, uh, my friends down in Houston thinking about you guys with the hurricane barrel coming in, be very careful, okay? See you guys next time. Thanks.